and uh, I'd like to start on the rifle or the musket I mean this is the uh, barrel that I got back from the foundry uh, that was cast in wax and uh, this is how it scanned <laughs> and came out in foam so I'm gonna basically have to redo this whole thing right here and uh, just hope I can do it right. These uh, barrels are really long and uh, there was no rifling in it. There was a smooth bore uh, musket and so the ball would just wasn't as accurate as if it had been uh, gone through a, a rifled barrel. A, uh, this is the butt of the rifle, or the musket. I keep calling it the rifle. I'm going to be chewed out by my friends back east. Um, this was a club butt musket, and it was a style of of musket and the type of musket that was uh, used uh, in the late 18 or 1600s and early eight, uh, 1700s and uh, so I think what I'm going to do is try to figure out the uh, right size uh, wooden dowel that I'm going to need for the barrel and I'm thinking this is going to be it right here and then I just got to sculpt all the other stuff around it Okay, I've got uh, a brand new uh, stick. Now the problem is this this end is curved just slightly. I don't think it's going to make any difference though. So, from this end, hate these stickers they put on these things. So I'm going to have to take that off as best I can because I want to have a completely flat end of the barrel. But I don't want the sticker interfering with my sculpting. Now instead of going by my markings, I'll just start a new one. Okay. Now I'll do the same. Yeah, that was more like the length I need. And now, I need to put a piece of wire in there so that uh, the uh, thing will have an armature that will push itself into where it's supposed to go. wax is starting to soften. I don't want to get it too soft. I want to have it a little bit cool. This is uh, Victory Brown Wax if you're wondering. You can get it at just about any foundry. Uh, they'll probably sell you a block of it for you know a 10 pound or 5 pound block for a sum. I'm not sure how much I paid for this. much better. Now, just need a straight edge. 
I got this uh, piece of metal out of a, one of those folders that you hang inside a uh, filing cabinet. It makes a great straight edge for cutting. I want a straight edge on this. Now. Not quite long enough, but it'll be okay. I'll make it work. What I'm doing is just enveloping the barrel in this wax. Go up to about where I think it should go. It's always hard to do precision stuff like a musket or a gun of some kind. Mechanical stuff is not fun. At least not for me. Alright, just a pause for the cause, so to speak. Um, this video is brought to you by me. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to show you my... Uh, seven DVDs that I have available. Uh, this one's on creating a male bust in clay. Uh, this one is a, a supplemental video called uh, Clay to Bronze. It's a tour of the uh, foundry. And, uh, but anyway, I've got uh, sweet grass, I've got uh, a life-size bust, I've got a full-size figure of a mountain man and an Indian woman holding a baby. These are the seven that I have. Um, there'll probably be more in the near future. I'm going to be doing one on a horse. But, uh, here I'm going to take a break and show you how to purchase these uh, DVDs online. Let's see if I can get it on there. A Day in the Life of a Lemon, block blogspot.com. That's my website. And uh, when you get there, this is the, the home page. And you'll see up here at the top right-hand column, get my thing there's here. a Buy Now t uh, tab right there. And what you do is you just click on this... Uh, little drop-down menu and you got all six of my DVDs uh, Mount here Mask. and then right at the bottom is this clay to bronze which is the uh, founder tour and as you can see it's uh, not as expensive as the ones above if you don't understand anything on this page here's a uh, language uh, thing here uh, you just drop this uh, menu down and you can select any language uh, that you speak. We'll get back to the uh, uh, sculpture that I'm working on in progress. Okay, I've got it pretty well centered the barrel in this wood stock. And, uh, and I've placed the uh, ramrod where it's supposed to go. And what I'm going to do now is just uh, build up a little bit where the end of the wood is. Now, some time back, and I've shown this to people before, but there are always new people who come and start watching my videos, so I'll explain what I'm doing. I try to uh, make things less confusing to the eye. And one of the things I did a long time ago, have a can of paint mixed up to be the same color as the clay. And the way you do that is you take a sample of clay to uh, a hardware store and where they sell paint. And uh, I just had them make up a batch of paint to match the color of that uh, sample of clay. And then I just take and paint what I've just sculpted to look like the clay. Well, if you're doing this and people look at it, and you're doing it in public, which I'm not doing, but still, they ask, 
why is that different color than that that part? And uh, it just makes it less confusing for people who see it, and actually less confusing for my eye as well. All right, that's going to do it for today. Um, it's getting there. I've got probably another few days to work on it. I've definitely got detail work to do on the face. I'm going to print up some stuff on the back of the jacket because uh, I've forgotten what it looked like and uh, the wax doesn't really show it because it's all cut apart. So I'm going to go back and dig through my original uh, modeling uh, photographs that I've got and uh, come back next time and uh, pick up the uh, buttons that are back here. Uh, there's a seam or an opening in the jacket back here that has buttons going down it that they could unbutton that flap and uh, if they were wearing a sword it would stick through the uh, the uh, jacket instead of lifting up the uh, tail of the jacket. So uh, I need to look up that detail. It's getting close to being done. Um, I'm really happy the way it's turning out. I would have been much more satisfied if it had been an exact copy and resin, but it didn't work out that way through my lack of knowledge of that uh, part of the business. I've got that knowledge now, but it's too late now. I just got to do with what I got and do it the best I can for the client. So, until next time, have a great night everybody.